Hello, my friends. Hopefully, you guys are all doing amazing. Welcome to the Secrets of a Witch podcast with yours truly, Sabrina Scott, where I talk all about life, love, healing, spirituality, witchcraft, magic, tarot, feminine energy, and everything in between. And today, hello, it is the winter solstice, at least up here in the northern hemisphere. So this is so exciting. It's It's been really interesting to notice my own vibe over the last few decades. I remember I used to completely reject Christmas due to all the family trauma around it, and I just completely dove into Yule, aka winter solstice, and just made that 100% be my thing. And then this year, I kind of almost forgot, like, oh shit, it's it's solstice tomorrow, huh? I kind of forgot. <laughs> As I've healed my relationship to a lot of things, it's been so interesting to notice that, ooh, I'm actually excited for Christmas, even though I'm not going to be doing any, like, gift giving or receiving. Like, it really is just a day. But there's something about my healing process that has just allowed me to bask in this emphasis on Christmas, even though I always used to be a solstice yuletide person. But anyway, happy solstice, my friends. Let's talk about it. So up here anyway, and I apologize to my Southern Hemisphere folks, up here in Canada, and I'm sure for most of y'all are in North America or in other Northern Hemisphere spots, we are finally in the darkest, the longest night of the year. We have made it, my friends, to the darkest point. The solstices are the extremes and the equinoxes is when things are equal. And so we are now at the opposite end of summer solstice. Summer solstice, the longest day, the longest night, the brightest day of the year. And now we are at the flip side of that, right? We're in the darkness. And what's great about winter solstice is guess what? Since what goes up must come down, what goes down must come up. And so now we are switching away from these dark, dark, dark nights. Here it gets dark. Sunset is at like 3 p.m. It's been insane. Slowly, the days are going to get longer and longer and longer. And we are finally moving back into welcoming the light re-welcoming the light into the world. Obviously, we do this every year. This is why cycles are so beautiful. Every single year, we get to do this, right? And I love the seasonality of this. I personally love living somewhere with such distinct seasons that do match so nicely to these solar and lunar events, these seasonal astrological vibes like I do love that and I talked a little bit about this on my tarot for the week ahead on YouTube yesterday so if you haven't checked that out go give it a watch but this is a great time to banish whatever it is we want to get rid of the bad parts of 2023 whatever we didn't like from this year, whatever aspects of our habits we didn't like, maybe some mistakes we made, maybe some excessive spending, maybe just some bad decisions, maybe a bad breakup. I was talking to someone who had a cat pass last week and isn't going to get a new, any new animals until the new year. Totally makes sense. After Mercury's out of retrograde, after we are in that new, new calendar year. It's a time today to really connect with what the hell are our intentions for the new year? Who do we want to be in 2024? As the light inches into our lives again, as inch by inch, minute by minute, the days get longer, the sun gets brighter, a lot of dreary gray days lately here in Toronto. As we move back into the light... It, it gives us permission to lean into who do we want to be next? What light do we want to welcome into our lives? What darkness do we want to shed? 
I do often see the winter solstice in as, you know, it can be many different things, but banishing what we want to get rid of, really committing to releasing those bad things. Whenever I've had breakups around this time, I'm like, you know, go to hell, like get it, get the bad vibes out, really shed those tears, shed those bad vibes of whatever endings have happened for you around this time of year. Just really commit to mourning that, letting the tears flow, getting rid of it, just cleansing yourself. It's a great time to do house cleansings, protection magic. It's a great time for what else? Stuff like that, right? Getting rid of the cobwebs in our homes and in our minds. It's a great time for beginning anew. It's a great time for a refresh. It's a great time for cleaning out who we've been and intentionally committing to who we want to be. It's a great time for intention setting, coming up with our list of goals for the new year, which is actually probably what I'm going to end up doing on winter solstice. Really connecting with my intentions, coming up with some new intentions for the new year, reflecting on what goals did I hit in 2023? What goals did I not hit? I hit most of them, but there's a few that I didn't quite get. And making new plans for the new year. This time between winter solstice and New Year's Day is the perfect time for this deep excavation of who we've been and who we want to be. And since we're also in a Mercury rec- retrograde period right now, it's honestly just perfect. Like, I cannot imagine a better combination of vibes, honestly, when it comes to this death and rebirth cycle that does happen with the wheel turning as the calendar year changes. Is also a time to welcome back in the light. So light as many candles as you can. Personally, as of this recording, I have got five candles lit right now and I'm excited to light even more later on tonight. It's a time to really reflect on darkness and light. How does that show up in your life? How does that show up on a daily basis? How does that show up in how you treat yourself? How does that show up in how you allow yourself to be treated by others? Do you need to make any changes in that regard? Are there any boundaries that you need to switch around? Whatever you decide to do today, I hope you have a great time. I hope you find some stillness, some peace, to reflect, to light some candles, to welcome in the light, and to banish the darkness. We can face our shadows. You know, we can face them, we can meet them. And we can also say, you know what? You have walked with me for this long. And this particular shadow I'm going to banish for now. Maybe forever. We don't need to take all shadows with us. We can transform those shadows into light. That's the power of the witch, my friends. Happy solstice. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, wonderful night. I hope you find a lot of peace today, a lot of contemplation, reflection, hopefully some surprising insights. And I look forward to hearing what your intentions are for the next rest of the year as we move more and more and more into the light much love my friends as always my instagram is sabrina m scott website is sabrina m scott.com if you want to grab a cute sweater or something you can do so at shop sabrina m scott.com i do have a new magic journal which i don't think i've even talked about on this show yet so if you look up on amazon sabrina scott journal there should be three journals. There's two tarot journals. One is the card of the day tarot journal. Great time to start that type of practice if you haven't done so yet. The getting to know the cards tarot journal and then my brand new magical ritual witchcraft journal where you get to write down all your rituals. If you are doing a ritual for today, be a great place to write that down but obviously it's not going to be five minute shipping. I wish it was but it should arrive for the new year and so you can start off the new year with a nice spot to write down all of the rituals and spiritual practices that you do. How did it go? And what came from that? Okay, my friends, much love. Talk to you guys next time. Bye.